All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So the pre-judging for the 2023 New York Pro just wrapped up, and it's about pretty much exactly what we expected to see here, with the exception of Max Charles not even making the first callout. But in that first callout, they kept Tony O'Burton in the center the entire time, did not move him. For me, I think Tonio is the clear winner here. He might not be the biggest guy, but overall, he's just so balanced, so complete, and he's got this like really 3D round muscle. I, I think overall, Tonio is the clear far and away winner here. But I think the more surprising thing about this first callout is another guy that stayed next to Tonio the whole time and did not get moved was Stuart Sutherland, Beef Stew, the guy we've been talking about for a couple weeks now ever since he did that guest posing with Hunter Labrada. He looked really, really good here. I think this is a really good look for him. And overall, like I said, in that first callout, they didn't move him, and they gave us confirmation because after that first callout, I was like, it looks like they've got Stu in second. They gave us confirmation at the very end where they did the final two callout between uh, Stu and Tonio, which to me was confirmation that Tonio is winning this show and Stu is going to be second. But this is huge for Stuart Sutherland. And this is confirmation that he really is a really good bodybuilder. It wasn't just a fluke that he looked good in that guest posing next to Hunter Labrada because a lot of people were saying, like, look, Hunter was a top four Olympian, and you put this beef stew guy next to him at a random guest posing, and he looks better than Hunter. Again, you got to take into consideration that Stu was about to compete. He was just a couple weeks out, and Hunter is pretty far out from competing. But even with that caveat, he looked really good next to a top four Olympian. And now you have confirmation here in an actual competition that Stu is really good. Granted, this wasn't the deepest or most competitive New York pro that we've seen in recent years, but there were a lot of there were a lot of guys here in really good shape, and I, I would have liked to see Stu a little sharper. And had he been sharper here, I think it would be closer between him and Tonio. But for me, I've got Tonio winning. And honestly, I also want to say I thought this was a really good live stream. For me, the whole thing ran really smooth. It was like super crisp HD the entire time. No distracting background. Really plain. The light focused really good on the athletes, especially in the individual presentation. I thought overall this was just a really good, just standard bodybuilding live stream with no interruptions. I had no issues. There weren't any commercials even. The lighting was good. The quality was good. There was no weird camera angles. It was straight on the entire time. No LEDs in the background. It was just overall a really enjoyable, easy to watch bodybuilding show. So I wanted to commend them for that. So I definitely recommend you guys buying the live stream for the final tonight because I thought it was just a really good, just what you want from a bodybuilding stream. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's going to be between Beef Stew and Tonio the Predator Burton. Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe for more videos like this one. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power. My Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power. My secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, give that one a look. And all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.